it's wild how time just keeps going and how much we change who cares do you ever like start talking and then you just get bored of yourself <laughs> I'm really tired, it's 8 a.m. I'm in traffic, I'm on the way to Chia and Tim's house because I am apparently the queen of lime wash and I'm gonna help lime wash their primary bedroom. I have 30 minutes left in this drive, so I'm just gonna talk out loud about what's happening in my mind instead of listening to the radio. Listening to the radio? I'm 95. One, I feel lost in what I'm doing on the internet because I've been doing the same thing for 10 to 12 years. I just started growing into a different direction and now I don't know how to show up. Like I feel like if I just were to snap into what I was doing before, it would be autopilot and inauthentic and that's like not what I stand for at all. I went from oversharing to not even existing essentially. <laughs> That's par for the course. I'm such an extremist. If I decide that there's a problem, instead of pivoting just ever so slightly to try and fix it, I will do the complete opposite and I will overcorrect. I went to this self-development seminar years ago and I remember the instructor saying that he was friends with a plastic surgeon. And when people go into his office, they wanted something vastly different than what their face looked like. And he would say, I'm not gonna operate on your face like this because it's too drastic. He had a two millimeter rule. He would only do changes if they were two millimeters away from the person's starting point. If I can learn how to do a two millimeter change when something is awry, I would be much better off. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. I did, I did. I, I know, did. look at the difference. Adds a little something, something. Hey. You know? Oh, you know, like it. Oh, wow, this is just an interesting okay. choice. <laughs> I just drove 45 minutes to a showroom to get a sample. I was looking for a waterproof plaster. I got these two samples. 45 minutes. The vibes of the bathroom that I'm designing right now. This is where we're starting. Actually, this is where we started and so much has happened since then. Here's a little sneak peek of what's to come, but we're not there yet. It's about the journey right now. I think I'm finally coming back to life in a business sense because before, I remember I was so overworked that I set my desktop website as a countdown. It literally says goodbye workaholic. I'm starting to feel the pull back to getting back to business because for a little bit I was just like a desert rat artist which I think was necessary for my mental health but now I'm trying to find the balance of the rest and the work. In yoga anytime you're doing a balance pose there's a Sanskrit word for it that I don't remember because I'm focused on not falling. It's about the effort and the ease at the same time and finding the joy in the effort parts. I think what I am trying to figure out right now is how I want to show up in my business. Now that I've taken a step back and gotten clear on what I want and what I don't like and what's not sustainable, I'm now finding almost like a witch's potion. I'm like putting different ingredients in to find the solution of how I wanna work. It's nerve wracking and it's exciting at the same time. I heard this in a self-development seminar once and I don't know if it's true, but I love it, so I'm gonna say it. The same Chinese symbol for crisis is actually the same symbol for opportunity. Feeling like I'm kind of at a crossroads of starting again, kind of nervous that I don't wanna burn out. I'm trying not to make any rash decisions on how to like operate my life. Just trying to tweak one thing at a time see what works and take one step forward in that direction. I never thought this day would come and now that it finally has, I have absolutely no energy to even be excited for it. But maybe I'll be excited tomorrow because I almost finally finished my home studio. Today's the final cleaning and you know what? This is an ADHD neurodivergent hack, but the only way that I could finish this is somebody wanted to shoot here. <laughs> So I'm gonna have a photo shoot tomorrow. It's still not finished, but it's gonna be finished enough for photos. The floor is gonna be clean spotless. I'm like getting my life together. It only took two years. I'm making a national holiday right now where I'm applying to because everyone knows that this room has taken me so long that at one point, 
I got a comment that said something along the lines of by the time you finish this, there should be a national holiday. And I was like, you're right. Here's the thing that I've learned in all of this is that little by little, things get done. This was a huge project that took literally over two years. And the only reason I got it done is whenever I had time, whenever I got myself to do it, I would just take an hour and just start. Just do a little. And some days that hour would turn into a couple hours and over time, the room got done. It's so easy to become overwhelmed with a really big project. You can get ahead of yourself and just think of how long it's gonna take that you're never gonna reach the finish line. But the thing is, if you just show up and put in however much you have in you for that specific day. Some days it can be a lot, some days it can be nothing. But if you put in work little by little, the project gets done. You will achieve your biggest goals by putting in small increments of work little by little. So this is called Little by Little Day. Briefly describe your national day. Highlighting, highlighting the small, highlighting, celebrating. What are we doing? on this national day in order to achieve them. Is English my first language or have I never heard it before? Where's the paper clip when you need them? I need to phone a freaking friend. Hello. All the small things add up to a big change. Finishing something is not the only time you can celebrate. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that's how I used to live my life of just like results oriented and the in-betweens didn't matter and all that's impressive is the before and afters. So I think what I'm trying to do is highlight the process and the getting there and that that is just as important as mm -hmm. the completion. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Oh my God, I can't wait to celebrate little by little day. <laughs> little by little day, da 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 da. Smash cut to bad news, turns out making a national holiday is a thousand dollars. For what? It was supposed to be a joke. I'm not paying a thousand dollars to laugh. That seems pretty high for an intangible result. Show me the itemized receipt to where every dollar of that a thousand is going. Anyway, what is the point of life? <laughs> what is the point of my life today? I'm going to the thrift store right now because I wanted to do this focal ceiling moment. I wanted to make a musician's retreat. I've been collecting these 45 vinyls and I started putting them on the ceiling. I thought, oh my God, this looks so cool. All of my ideas seem really good until I start them. And I'm like, whoa, this is a lot more effort than I thought it was gonna be. But then it's too late and I'm halfway there and nobody else can finish what I started. So I've got to do the whole thing. So I'm going to this thrift store where I can get one vinyl for a dollar, which is actually not a great deal knowing how much I need. You know what? Because I'm not paying $1,000 for the national holiday, maybe I can buy a thousand vinyls. That is the worst girl math ever. I don't need a thousand vinyls. You know what? Let's reframe. Let's just be those people on Valentine's Day that are like, every day is Valentine's Day. Don't just treat her well on this day. Every day is little by little day. Every day we can celebrate by doing one little thing that's in the direction of our dreams. One little step that's closer to the life we want to live. One little pivot, a two millimeter change perhaps. You see where I'm going? So let's leave each other with that. I'm gonna go do one little thing that's gonna enhance my life in the direction of what I want. You do the same and I will see you the next time that I do. Okay, bye. I'm making